Hey guys, in today's video, we are talking about environment monitoring. Environment monitoring is, uh, you know, monitoring the technique wherein you monitor the temperature, humidity, wind direction, all the other parameters which are part of environment, which can be used for smart irrigation, smart agriculture, and many other applications. Environment monitoring is required in different applications, as I said. We can use it in farms, agriculture, terrace gardens, uh, greenhouses, and many more. And there are a lot of other techniques available other than what we are discussing. So it's a disclaimer that this is not the only technique for environment monitoring. There are many other techniques available, but what we are saying is this is one of the best techniques available. So why do we need environment monitoring? This can be used by farmers to monitor the state of the farm, wherein they can manage the irrigation. It can be used as an energy metering, wherein the water, other resources are uh, you know, monitored and used in a very good way. Greenhouses can use this wherein, you know, the temperature, humidity, other parameters can be controlled. And in-house, if you have the gardens and other things, you can still use it. And also store data to plan other activities also. How do we implement this uh, environment monitoring? So we can do it using different IoT devices or uh, you can say devices which are embedded devices such as Arduino, Raspberry Pi, Node MCU. So in, in our project, we are using Node MCU. So just a quick, uh, you know, introduction. Why are we choosing Node MCU? It's cost effective. It's cheaper than the other devices. It has very less maintenance because of the size and the power requirements. It sends data wirelessly. So it's the flexibility we get. And there are other uh, reasons for choosing the Node MCU. So now I'll, I'll show you how we are doing environment monitoring using MicroPython in the Node MCU. Just a quick introduction. What is MicroPython? MicroPython is a small subset of library which uh, they have released recently which is uh, you know lighter in uh, you know programming and compared to the python it's still faster and there are a whole lot of uh, you know available features which you can use uh, just a point which i wanted to highlight george robotics limited is uh, you know the reason that we are using micropython they with the support of uh, european space agency which is known as esa they are uh, the reasons why the micropython is available for usage uh, you know, ESP8266 board, uh, which is a series of the board which we are using. Uh, there's a uh, genuine growth in terms of what the support is. Initially, it started with assembly language, uh, then to embedded C, and now we have the MicroPython. Uh, this is the you know board supported by MicroPython. So in case you are not using Node MCU, you can go with ESP32 or any other board also, which can be used for similar or other applications also. Uh, now we'll be seeing the project wherein how this working is going to happen thank you hey guys in today's video we are talking about environment monitoring using micropython there are multiple devices available for environment monitoring and wherein you can monitor the environment using different iot devices but in today's video we are talking about a device made up of uh, node mcu as well as using the micropython so let us understand what micropython is MicroPython is an upgraded version of Python reprogramming, which has you know small subset of Python library, which makes it even lighter than the normal Python language. This was uh, you know developed by ESA, which is European Space Agency, and it's funded uh, by ESA so that we can use this particular programming language for different purposes and use them in the hardware devices of different types. So whatever you are seeing right now is a node MCU connected in order to monitor the environment in different applications. There are other applications also available as you can see in here. This is Raspberry Pi Oracle weather station. This device can be used to measure the temperature, the humidity, the soil sensor moisture or the wind direction or the wind speed. This device is already sponsored by Oracle in order to monitor the weather but whatever device which we are showing in here is smaller in size cheaper and also can be used for the same purpose the demonstration of the same you can see right now and this also can be connected with the help of a cell phone wherein you can monitor if you can see right now it's a live data which we are getting through this micropython device so this can be used for various applications such as in industries, in farming, in greenhouses, or even when you are having the plants and other environment control parameters within the house itself. This is cheaper version, this is effective version, and this is more sustainable solution 
to the environment modeling problem thank you